wait is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. Let's kick this shit. Hey guys, what's happening straight down the middle of Pinball Show? My buddy Greg and myself have not been together for a while. Thanks for the patience for a new episode. But this one's special. This one, we are going to show you guys something a little different. We haven't, mm -hmm. we've not done this type of thing before. No. A lot of people say they want gameplay yeah. from us, right? So we're going to give you guys some gameplay of Stern Pinball's brand new 2019 release of Stranger Things. But Woo. Is, it's not just gameplay. This is literally first impressions. The very yeah. first time... Put my hands on that yeah. game. You get to see the first, what, we're doing all three games? We played three games for sure. the best of three. You get to see the the first time that I've played three games on this. So don't judge too much. We haven't played this game yeah. all that much. No. I, I might have put five games on it at my house. But, yeah. uh, and he talked me into it. Um, I did. I, I wasn't going to buy it. What did I tell you? I, I, I backed out of it on him, which yeah, he bitches did. about. Yeah. Um, so I was really hesitant. But I backed out, and then he called me, and he was like, Greg, I unboxed it. I put a handful of games on yeah. there. I, I I did not want to stop. You've got to buy it. I'm bringing it to your house. Yep. It's coming. Bringing it to your house. Bring and it you know what I did? I said I said, "Do you have uh do you have uh, you know, mid $5,000, $6,000?" And you're like, "Yeah, why?" I'm like, "Well, I'm bringing this game with me." It was a shakedown. Yeah. yeah. Uh, We're going to unbox it. You're going to keep it and you're going to love yeah. it. And so here it is. So we're going to go over the gameplay, and then we're going to come back to us so you guys can see how Greg and I played the game uh, and experience it. You, the sights, sounds, and smell, n not the smells. Uh, all <laughs> like the gas plastic. and all over the place. That's right. We'll come back. We'll give our first impressions of Stranger Things. Okay. All right, look. Fun is skill shot. So the skill shot, roving targets, mm -hmm. whatever. That's not very fun. But if you loft it, into that scoop, that's the, sec the super skill shot. Ooh, that's a fun one. We're gonna go for that. Ooh. Oh! Drop targets and murder you. I always try taking them out during my bowl so. Look at Bony! It is like Bony. Look at that! Oh, that, that is shocking. Great shot. Yeah, that's my favorite shot in the game. Left door to the right rear. And then that one. Oh. Love that one too. Oh! Those are wide inner orbits. It's weird. Stop doing that. Yeah. Like, that is really odd feeling. Like, kind of nice. Yeah, that inner orbit to the outer orbit is cool. That right there is awesome. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> Those are murder, man. Player two, you're up. How's the pitch and everything feel? See, it didn't qualify the. Didn't qualify. That. Oh. See, I can keep going. They're gonna do that in code, I bet. On that scene. So you just can't keep going. Yeah. Not too much. It's a really. Oh, we didn't. Is it pretty level? Yeah, hey, but. No. Get out of there. It's so addicting to go for those things, but they're just, they're chump shots. Oh, I understand how that ramp's made on there now. That took me a minute, like in pictures to... Let's do it. Oh, I knew it! I knew not to go for that. And this is a game that I found, it almost needs to be broken a little bit. Because like the first 10 games on it, Things are stiff like the drop targets. Oh. So this is upside down. You gotta get all four drop targets down. They're worth good points. But the hurry up is so short, it's already almost done. Uh -huh. Oh shit. See, that's it. So why'd those pop back up? Because you gotta get down twice before. Oh. Oh, you're playing with fire. I like fire. Oh, that spinner. Mm. Juicy. Oh. oh. Nice. Hey, now it's ready. Just primed. We gonna get it in that counter. It's not a not a good oh. Oh. oh spell of protection ball save. Pretty good at pinball. <laughs> it's not looking that way. There it is. There she oh, is. Oh, it already lights up or something. The red. I yeah. was like, I want to light that whole flash and stuff. Oh boy. Oh, good good animation. Where's right. it come out? Okay. Yeah, good luck. Oh my god. Put it right in that fucker's mouth. There it is. It's not bad. It's like you said. Like it, it's it, it, it's when you hit it too hard. Yep. You're getting too much it. speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't. It's satisfying. You gotta work at it. Now the next time you go for it, it'll probably take like 20 shots. He's softer than what I thought too. I think they'll code in some reactions whenever you hit him because I know that there's. I think oh, there's a shit. switch that registers a hit. You haven't even started mode yet. There's a mode, Morse code. It's off uh, season two. Right side season two, left side season two. Damn it. Oh, it didn't block. catch it. That block? Yeah. It, it didn't block. earlier either. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Mystery is lit. It's going up though. It's, cool. it's almost like it's releasing it immediately. Ooh, man. Spelling out. Oh, you each, gotta spell. Yeah, each mode's like that. It's cool. Like you're searching for stuff or you're trying to burn it back. You can stack stuff. Oh! Oh! You did start a mode though. Or no, that was upside down, I think. Nice ball, man. So, does it to you just like briefly? Going over the rules, does it feel very 90s to you? Like no, no, not no. like like shoot the orbits. Well, like the, the that mode? setup is yeah. like the bikes is a, a certain mode, that's certain mode. So that the layout of the that uh, of the code is, but it's the complexity in those rules as well as the number of modes. See, you have to get through five season one modes, five season two modes. Those are five modes as well. Yeah, and the, what's cool is you get through the first. Demogorgon, so you got through the first one. Yeah. The second one, when you go to get it, when you start him, it'll be a two ball multi ball. Oh. And I don't know if it goes three, four, five ball multi ball. I don't know how that works. And then you gotta get like Brian Eddy stuff, you gotta get all five of these main ones to get to the final showdown. One of them is a five way combo. I'm withholding judgment, withholding judgment. No. Give me that loft, baby. Nope, it's closer. Down we go. 
jealous of my Demogorgon. Fudge! Fudge! Yeah, that feed is wicked from that, right? Because it's almost like the uh, the guy doesn't go. Player one. Out. He's out. Spring is so tight. You like it? Tight. Can't wait for it to pull tight spring. Break in a little bit like your mom. Hey. That's what you get. That's what you get, Mr. 49 Mill. See, it, uh, it doesn't play like a regular fan layout. Everything goes no. somewhere different. It doesn't. Your lot is just waiting. It's hungry. I hit it twice. You got two locks. You need a third lock. Jip me. Hooker! Oh, what a snaggy. Whoa. Whoa! All right, so you're ready for that second Demogorgon. If you don't totally... Fucking potch it. Oh. Oh. See, mate, you were set up. I was getting two. Uh, you, were, you were set up for uh, that. You were set up for the multi ball. I got two. Uh, you you're still like too flip happy and not. You still killed me. Oh, baby, get in there. Really? All it takes is one ball. Three ball mini. There we go. A little upside down. Oh, nice. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, see that? Yeah, that feed is. Oh no. I You're see. right. Like the the drop targets. God, I knew it. Why do I keep going for that thing, man? I was gonna say you're right. The drop targets are brutal, but they're not that bad. God. All right. When I blow up this game is when I stay away from the drop targets. I hit the drop targets during my ball save, and then I'm going to ramp for this. Hmm. We gotta put another one on there. Mm, we're doing one more. I agree. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs, and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. Check out Pin Graphics for the latest and greatest in pinball enhancements, power blades, blade skins, pin blades, and even more. Visit PinGraphics.com now to see what's available for your pinball machine. Uh, okay. All right, Bonnie. So, who wants to go first? Well, we can go together in unison. We'll go together. Like a unison. tandem. Like an ice skating... Tag team! Ice skating couple. All right, let's... Uh, let's uh, first impressions, when you walk up to the machine, does it... Does it get the check mark for that's oh, a pretty machine? Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's actually a little prettier. The ambiance is a little better than what I thought. Uh, lighting, lighting was good. Some purples in there. I like that. Purple. The purple's nice. The purple's not maybe mm -hmm. a little overdone. A little dark, maybe. A little dark, dark, but you can see it. But I got this one in front of a window, so. Mm. Uh, but it's still not bad. Um, art is quite a bit better than what I thought it was going to be. It um, is. It's good. Back glass. I was actually did not like the pro back glass. Did you not? No, I didn't. I liked the the premium. Uh, uh, the premium was my favorite of all. Good. But it's actually it's. Again, not bad in person, so not I'm not sure. mad at it. Um, I'm not mad at it. No, I'm not mad at it. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, honestly, the art and everything, it's, it's a little too purple. Maybe. I can't get enough purple. Last I'm time I said purple. something was a little too red, got my That's ass right. handed to me, so I'm, right. I'm a little hesitant to call it a little too purple. Too much purple. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, it's, it's not bad. Okay. What's yours? I think it's pretty. It fits the bill. It looks like Stranger Things yeah. to me. I like the splashes of color. I'd rather have more color than not enough color. Yeah. So I'm good with that. Um, of the art packages, as we've seen video uh, and, and photos of the Premium LE, I think I tend to like the Premium LE mm -hmm. uh, options a little better just visually. Agree. Um, and I'm really interested to see how that screen projection mapping yeah. works. But I was presently surprised that whenever I heard... It's not going to be a projection screen. So you're just going to have a decal, one yeah. decal up there. It frightened me. Yeah. But if you're going to pick a decal, that decal is That decal is perfect. For Looks it. good. And it, it doesn't does. obstruct. Everybody thinks, oh, it's right in the middle of the play field. It's going to obstruct. Mm -hmm. I don't find it obstructing anything, no. really. You still see the pops, the ramp, all of that stuff. Like, it, uh, 
with aesthetic, and this isn't art based, but I do wish, and this is something obviously our mod makers, I, I think that honestly this game is the most open game for mod makers and secondary really? people on the market. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Just, uh, just from an aesthetic standpoint, not necessarily mods. If, that if move nobody right now is making le uh, Ego pop bumper caps. Yes. That's yes. a fail. And, and you just need, like, I don't know the bicycles. Like, that's the only thing that I feel Ooh. like it's missing is it doesn't grab. I actually think a lot of the pen is missing this uh, from, from first impressions and taking a look at it. It's it's, it's really missing that 80s feel a lot. Hmm. You, you get it in the colors, obviously, and some of the stuff on the DMD, but it, it's very early on. But play field wise, like, you just don't have anything that's. You're wanting more in the 80s and the solo. Mm -hmm. show, rather than that sci fi. High color saturation yeah. type because it, it's nice to have the Demogorgon, and I, I'm not advocating, and I don't want the flat plastics like you had on Deadpool and mm -hmm. some of that stuff. But I would have liked some more toys, moldings, moldings, yeah, different things on there, a few 3D things, mm -hmm. maybe a little more Ghostbuster ish, oh, I see. um, a Stay little bit to mm -hmm. get the Slimer, yeah, yeah, not just a Demogorgon because everything else there's really nothing there. Mm -hmm. This is honestly since Star Wars, probably even the most barren. For the pro, for the pro that I've seen, okay. honestly, the premium is the same way. You just got projectors. Oh, but projector mapping or a molded toy? Yes, if it does good, if it does good. magnets that hold the ball in the back. Oh of the yeah, back no, board I'm not. Or... I'm not complaining about that. I'm just talking about aesthetic wise. From an aesthetic, we well, can standpoint. always add molds. That's what I'm saying. Molds. This is open for mod makers. That that's a good point. Yeah, that they can really load this thing up. So we know that Brian Eddy, he he was on a hiatus from pinball for 20 plus years, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he comes back. He's done Medieval Madness. He's done Attack from Mars. Before that, he did The Shadow, which I prefer over the other two. Yeah. Uh, he coded games, Indiana Jones, some Black Rose action. He's got his hands in a lot at the Bally Williams. He goes into mobile gaming, I think, mm -hmm. mobile gaming. Comes back 20 years later, employed by Stern for the last two years, mm -hmm. and this is his first step back into pinball. He yeah. gets a dynamite, just world-renowned license. Mm -hmm. This is one of the biggest licenses Stern Pinball's probably ever got. Mm -hmm. This is a big license. Most viewed streaming uh, program in the world, I mm -hmm. think. So he gets that. And when we see pictures, we see video, we see a very fan layout. Yes. Right? Very much fan. And everybody yes. thought, this is very much uh, Attack from Mars 2.0. Yes. So as we're talking about gameplay and layout, my first impression is that this is very far from anything Medieval Madness or Attack from Mars. The shots on this game, minus the ramps, the ramps you know where they're going to go visually, mm -hmm. but every other shot, Greg, goes in totally different directions than you would expect it to. My favorite part of this game, yes. Stranger Things by Brian Eddy and Stern Pinball, is the layout. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the layout is good. I think I was expecting good? something. Good? Uh, what, it, yeah, it's good. Left it's orbit good. spinner to the ring. It feels, everything feels good. I, I think the layout, I think that I had a, a different impression. I think I was expecting something that was more shadowish. I was expecting oh, I something a little, uh, that mixed things up and really changed stuff up a lot, which just does. It, it's odd. Like that, I'm very confused in this because it, like Zach said, it's like a basic fan layout. The shots are all super smooth, but they're actually really unique shots, especially that left orbit to that oh. ramp. But then the way the normal yeah. right ramp drops off, um, yeah. you know, everything around that Demogorgon, like Zach said, it, the shots don't go where you think they're no. going to go. So it's kind of surprising, not to the point like Whitewater is. It looks like a horseshoe in the middle of the play field, but no. neither one of those no. do a horseshoe. No. So it's kind of surprising. It, it still feels somewhat basic. It's basic, but surprising. Okay. If that makes sense. That, or at least that's the way it feels with three games. Feels on. like a stern pinball machine. Yes. Right. But super smooth. It is so it smooth. Is smooth. Shots are not ridiculous. There's a lot of air balls from the drop targets, as drop targets often do. Yeah. They're brutal. The drop yeah. targets right in the middle are so addictive to hit because yes. you want to get that ramp down. Yeah. But they will murder you. Yeah. Murder and, you. and the Demogorgon, so I was discussing this with somebody, and I do think that it still needs some work, and that's all code. Um, but, you know, Attack from Mars, it's just simply hitting a spaceship. But when you hit that mm. spaceship just and it back. goes crazy, mm. yeah, and you've destroyed yeah. it and everything's going on, like, that's intense. Like, it feels, it grabs you every time. Mm -hmm. As simple as it, even Star Trek Vengeance oh, yeah. feels Absolutely. the same way. And I think that this needs that added to it to really make you want to hit that thing. But surprisingly enough, it does make me want to hit it more than I thought. You kept going for it knowing yeah. that it was going to kill you. That brings me to the only major critique shot-wise and everything, okay. is that Demogorgon is, uh -oh. is very difficult 
to hit. Correct. And after three... Very difficult, yes. After correct. three games, but about 95 shots on that Demogorgon in the second game... 95. I, I tried to just... Especially because we're doing first impressions. The I was, first game you nailed it. Boom, yeah. Right in his mouth. Exactly. So I was trying to really pay attention to what was going on. And at first, because of that first game and I hit it in there pretty easy, yeah. I thought, okay, it's just got to be a soft <laughs> shot. But I think it's almost like he feels like he's made of rubber or something, mm -hmm. and he's got some springs. So it's almost okay. like when it goes to go in his mouth, if it doesn't go in perfect, How then it'll this? hit. Yeah. It'll yeah. hit. You want it stiffer he when springs, it's going in his mouth? Yes. He springs gotcha. a little bit, gotcha. and I think it. You want it stiffer when it goes in his mouth. Okay. All right. Well, that You get may, what I'm saying. Just watch uh, the replays. Yeah, I think they, uh, I think they can <clears throat> maybe fix that a little bit. I, I think so, um, I, but I think it needs to be because some it people is, are it is calling overly for this, frustrating. Greg. Some people are calling for. I think there's a switch that detects hits on that, even if it's a, in the mouth hit or not. Some people are calling for. Let's do like a three four hit defeats mm. him. Yeah, yeah. Do more hit. Single you shot get, in the mouth. Done. Done. Exactly. And then you don't have to worry about reworking the mech. You, you don't get have some to fix lighting effects, wrong maybe some shaker yeah. effects. And I'd be fine so. with it because I still want to hit it. Like, yeah, still fun to hit. It's out of control. Yeah, and, I like that he moves and I like the softness mm -hmm. when I hit him. So, I, I honestly I think that that is a, a better like yeah. a fix to that. And again, code. Yeah. Or maybe. I think so. Is there a switch? Because he registers when I you think actually hit him. I don't think he? there is a switch okay, that so registers, but it's just solid. not really coded much. Yeah. This is early code. It's uh, very early. Very early for a release. Now, the, the one cool thing that's I think is .6466, mm -hmm. something like that. Very early code, so we got a long way to go. One of the cool things that Sir and Pinball did that I, in our time in the hobby hasn't been done before is when they announced this damn pinball machine, they were at distributors, <laughs> warehouses, and on location, same Shipping. day. Exactly. Can you beat that? No. Not now, would all. you rather... So would you rather would you rather have that and grow with the code or would you rather them have a one month wait after release to make the code a bit more fleshed out which one do you want I'm mixed this or that I'm mixed because this is the problem I have with this machine is it, it's got decent code there's going to be a lot it, in there. It, there's there's, decent, there's decent code already, yeah. but it doesn't seem like there's decent code because it's missing so many call-outs. It's missing so much of the music variants. Light shows. Yeah, you, you don't have a lot that of that going on. That comes towards... Yeah. Towards the end, because yeah. you need the game to function first. Yes. You need yeah. all the modes coded yeah. first. Exactly. And I, the little details. I agree, but being a, it's not code barren like Deadpool was necessarily when Deadpool or came Batman out. 66 or Batman 66. Or Batman like 66. Yeah. Guardians was a little weak. I'd like to see somebody get through all those modes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's just that it busy. feels a little boring watching it. Playing it, it's not as bad. But watching it, that's why I was hesitant to get it. I watched the mm -hmm. stream. I thought the stream looked like it sucked. Yeah. It, 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 I felt boring. Like I just You didn't know what's care. odd to me, though, is we're talking about code now. It's odd to me that out of the box, I think Deadpool mm -hmm. was further along, but this still feels like it's got a lot more than that original Deadpool code. Oh, I agree. Like, like when you play isn't it. Strange, yeah, when, it, oh, I completely agree. It's like I said, like playing it, mm -hmm. it, it, it's not boring. It doesn't feel that way. But watching because you don't have those action moments. Yeah. You don't have the call that's like, they can't kill him. Yeah. You know, shoot in his fucking mouth or something. You know, yeah. you don't have any of that. You don't have the. At least we got Hopper, though. Yeah. That's one of the coolest yeah. things in this game. You get the actual actor that played yeah. Hopper on the series itself doing the call out And video assets. I want to see oh. a little more longer video assets because the video assets the video that you see assets. now, they, 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 they cut off super quick. Okay. I want to see just a little bit but more. As you're progressing through the modes, this, the, the and you'll see the more you play, as you're progressing through the mode, more of the story is unveiled yeah. after each correct yeah. shot. I like it, that. This has a very good basis. If they fix going. the Demogorgon, because the Demogorgon killed it for me. Actually, when I first mm -hmm. put that first game on there, I was like, oh my God, dude, Zach is right. Yeah. The second game, right having to mouth, beat so. that Demogorgon. You were like, just son of Yeah, I was like, but uh, if I'm playing the alternative here, it's not like the whole game shuts off and you have to hit that. No. You can still qualify locks. You still qualify yeah. nodes. You, you still got a lot to go for. But it's just that you see him there and you're like, I want to hit want, that mother. Yeah, you're yeah, so you want bad. You want this game feels to me, and I was telling somebody else this, um, because the the left orbit to right ramp is one of the funnest, smoothest shots. Takes you by surprise. A long time. The right 
inner orbit to the left orbit mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. like you were alluding to, buttery smooth. Yeah. Even the right orbit that goes up, hits the pops, and comes back out, very mm-hmm. reminiscent to Eric Minier's Pirates of the Caribbean to yes. the left. How it goes up, comes back down. Spinner shot is fantastic. Um, even the saucer skill shot, that little loft mm-hmm. that's supposed to go right Yes. Through, oh, it feels really good. This feels to me like a Steve Ritchie with that flow and that mm-hmm. speed uh, matched up with a John Papaduke where – it looks like you know where this ball is going, but then you hit an orb and it turns into a wire form ramp and you're like, what the hell is going on? So it's like the birth child of a John mm-hmm. Papa Duke and Steve Ritchie. Eddie, if that uh, if you if you take offense to that, I'm sorry. But He's that, like that son of a... That is what it feels like. It's almost like Brian Eddie, uh, Dennis Creasel said it. He has perfected the fan layout. But yeah. now he takes that... And tweaked it. Yes, he tweaked it. Made, made it made different. Contemporary. Because I actually like that saucer. I was kind of worried about that saucer, but I like the saucer because yeah. to me... Oh, it's a safe spot. Another shot. And it shoots it up the play field rather than back down like a scoop or exactly. something. Exactly. Because I, I like it because then it's like, okay, I'm going to clear out a couple targets up there that I need mm-hmm. cleared out when I hit that saucer. But like I said, it gives me a little bit of a peace time. Oh, yeah. Because it, it's actually kind of a fast game. Mm-hmm. It's it's super flowy. It's very fast. So when I hit that saucer, it gives me a breath. I want to see more light show. Yeah. This game deserves like one of the biggest light shows yeah. in pinball. Really and, and, like, I, and, and I think with, with Mike Vinicor, I think with... with Brian Eddy with mm-hmm. so many people working on this. Lonnie Rock. Lonnie yeah. Rock. Like, with, with all these people, with three people's heads into it, I don't think they're going to fail us. No. Um, at, Brian at Eddy, by design, by trade, is a software guy. Yeah. yeah. He just it's just so early, but I actually, it doesn't feel like it's a point six. Code, no, whatever you that's said. actually it really exciting doesn't. to me because I'm like, if that's what we're getting in point six something, eh, yeah, I'm, it's like Elvira. I'm yeah. like, man, this game's gonna yeah. be deep. I don't know if I like waiting for it, but okay. I'm not yeah, mad fair. at it. There's that's enough fair. there to play. What about the sound? We've talked about the live show. We've talked about sound is very good. Sounds pretty good. Again, it just needs not, more. It needs more. It needs more. It, it definitely more. needs Fleshed 80s out. music. People keep doing that. You know, see, I'm see, I'm hearing a lot of lasers that I really love. The spinner sounds really good. Yeah, but you need, Doom. but you Doom. need still some maybe. You need some variance in that music. That's what during what the stream. Start the uh, quarter hunt. That's what it's I'm like saying. The, the quarter arcade. hunt. Ding, 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 the change of yeah. the the entire music is different mm. during that. It needs a little more variance in the yeah. game within modes. I'm actually excited about the code. Not to go. Who back does the on sound? It. Uh, I think it's Jerry Thompson. Jerry. I don't know, though. I don't, don't quote me on that, because I don't know for sure if it was Jerry. I know that, was it Ted Hale? I think Ted Hale did we will some find of the, out. the original scores mm-hmm. outside of that yeah. main original score. Uh, but I think it's I think it's him. But I think that there's a lot can go on with that. I'm just well. I'm just excited because this is a mode based game. Number one, I love mm-hmm. it's an assets based game, mm-hmm. and you feel like you're playing the story. Mm-hmm. So when you start uh, the will, uh, the one mode where they're trying to get the Demogorgon and the Mind Flayer out of will, mm-hmm. and they heat it up. They heat up the room. Yeah. But every correct shot you get, there's a thermometer that gets higher yeah. and higher. The Morse code that we were playing. Oh, Morse in code. There, was, that was fun. Dude. You're trying to fill out your Morse yeah. code. Um, Monster Hunter. You're trying to collect. Each shot collects a different uh, utility for this monster. Mm-hmm. It feels like it's telling a story. I love that. I agree. I love that kind of game. It, so I'm, uh, oh. In, in mm. closing, I, I will say this about it to kind of sum it up. While it feels like a stern and it shoots like a stern, mm-hmm. it feels not to the point that Jurassic Park is, but it feels very different than any other game you've really played. Hmm. No, it does. It does feel the whole ambiance, than... everything with it. Even if there's but code when you state. see a fan layout, you wouldn't think that. No, it feels very different. Something feels different about this entire game. Brian Eddy's uh, back, in my opinion. Yeah, it's Brian nice. Eddie is back. I'm I, not mad I bought it. I'll take this layout over a lot of layouts that we've seen uh, here in I literally woke up this five. morning still terrified that you were bringing me this game and I was going to have to pay that much money Just for something wait. that I did not want. Just wait, man. But I do not regret the purchase. I can already see where this is going code-wise. And remember how much we love Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. This is like 3.0 Guardians of the Galaxy. It yeah. really is. It's yeah. going to be that much. Yeah, I Twelve agree. main modes, five Demogorgon yeah. modes. You got uh, hurry up, and it kind of feels like Guardians in a sense. If I was going to do that, just without all the tight shots mm-hmm. and not so many shots, but yeah. it's, it's, now Demogorgon holes, Gorgon hole. Damn, you Gorgon got your hole. Gorgon hole. Oh. My Gorgon hole is a little tight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. I got to edit that in now. All right, so there you have it. A little bit of a new format here. We show you how the game plays. We show you features of the game. We talk about the game live here. Then you get to learn uh, whether or not you like the game there, Greg. I've put a couple games on it. But what do you think about Stranger Things by Stern Pinball? Comment down below.
Comment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sttpinball at gmail.com if you want to email us tell us what you're liking what you're not liking what you want to see next yes. some of these poor guys don't want to see anymore hey, Carrie Hardy <laughs> <laughs> poor Carrie Hardy I still love Carrie I think he does great work he's so creative one but. of the most important things right now that we need you guys to do you right there we need you to vote for straight down the middle of pinball show it is twippy season third annual twippy awards twippy season for youtube don't vote for us for everything because no. that's ridiculous and we're stupid. on youtube yeah youtube vote for us on youtube not podcast not no. streamer uh, streamer you can vote for him. chuck work chuck work streams definitely chuck yeah Wirt you streams. can vote for uh, zach mini on podcast no, stop. he does a podcast i do this week oh, in pinball podcast whatever, whatever yeah he also has got all that streaming over there at uh, flipping out, oh, flipping yeah, out, yeah, pinball yeah. streaming with Ken Cromwell and them boys. That's right. Mm-hmm. But no, Fantastic. don't vote for us for Topper yeah. and Game of the Year and stuff no. like that. Or any of that other stuff yeah. for Straight Down the Middle YouTube. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Insta. No, you can't. Not on Instagram. No. We've YouTube, never created it. Facebook. Years later. Uh, what else we got? Do we have anything else? No, that's it. That's it. We're basic. We're simple. Basic. We're bitches. simple. That's what we uh, and then also check out uh, Chuck Wart. Check out Carrie Hardy. Check out Flipping Out Pinball for a brand new pinball machine or Escalera. Check out our sponsors. Some of our sponsors too. Mm. At the beginning of this video and the mid the midway through this video, check out them too. Why well, are Penn Stadiums on? I think I'm going to add Penn Stadiums to my Stranger Things. I think so. Just the UV flashers. UV flash, How cool yeah. would that be? I want it dark. <laughs> so uh, check out. Oh, TPF. Last thing, TPF, end of March. Get your tickets now. Get your hotels now. And see Greg and I host the third annual Twippy Awards. And try to sit. To, don't yell at us or anything. But yeah, I do have one more exciting thing, too. And too. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Your but lethal weapon 3 blew up? No, my lethal weapon 3 did blow up. I'm actually <laughs> terrified. <laughs> I'm um, terrified. Of okay, so I'm going to light the head on this guy. If I keep it, I want to play some more games. I want to okay. make sure I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to light the head on this guy. And if you guys look back uh, on our, you on our Facebook. I did, oh, you got to do purple. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I might do blue on this one. Ice blue. I got ice blue. I love ice blue. Um, but that. so comment reached out to me. We did a video for comment. Comment is uh, Ryan and them over there are great Ryan, sponsors. Yeah. of ours mm-hmm. and uh, they actually wrote and they said hey Greg do you care if we use uh, you know we're thinking about maybe putting us together some of those headlighting kits oh, so yeah. that people stop asking us how to do it since yep. you released that video and showed yours so uh, be on the lookout for those from Comet Pinball Man that they'll have you actually wow. some little kits with the strips and extensions it's and everything like a, you need to light your heads it's like a featured STTM product it is how about STTM it from Inspired oh Jesus you hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again the middle again you had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all day.